Hello, welcome to the first installment of Pump Principles and Practices Training conducted by myself, Peter Slayman of African Liquid Systems. The first presentation will give you a very basic view of the two types of pumps and their uses. As we will progress to slurry pumping applications, more consideration will be given to centrifugal pumps. Right, let's get started. There are two types of pumps, namely positive displacement pumps, which are generally used for viscous media, and rotodynamic pumps, which are used for less viscous media, and generally work using centrifugal force. Piston, vane and gear pumps are generally positive displacement, while centrifugal and regenerative turbine form part of the rotodynamic family. Positive displacement pumps are essentially rotary or reciprocating machines in which energy is periodically added by application of force to a movable boundary of fluid enclosed in a chamber or pipe which results in a direct increase in pressure. Rotodynamic pumps are essentially rotary machines in which energy is continuously imparted to the pump liquid by a rotating part such as an impeller or a propeller. Below is an illustration of a positive displacement type pump, in this case a piston pump. Below is an illustration of a standard single stage centrifugal pump. As the name suggests, this pump uses centrifugal force to create velocity to media, which in turn creates pressure. The operating principles of a centrifugal pump. This group of pumps consists of a shaft mounted impeller or impellers rotating unidirectionally within a casing. The liquid enters the eye of the impeller and acquires energy in the form of velocity as it passes through the impeller passages. The velocity head is converted into pressure head by the volute or spiral shaped outer casing of the pump which directs the liquid from the outer perimeter of the impeller to the pump discharge. Important notes to consider. Fluid is pulled into a centrifugal pump and not sucked. Fluid entering the eye of the impeller acquires energy creating velocity. Impellers or propellers are driven by an electric motor, steam turbine or engine. Centrifugal pumps consist of many movable parts such as an impeller, bearings, shaft and seal. Other major parts are the seal chamber, bearing frame and volute casing. The standard pump layout will consist of inlet and discharge piping, valves and pressure gauges. Pumps will sometimes have different drive arrangements other than direct drives such as an overhead mounted or side mounted valve driven configuration just to name a few. This brings us to the end of Module 1. Thank you very much for your time, and we look forward to giving you training in Module 2 coming soon. Cheers.